you're going to have your choke, and then your fuel will shut off. Yep. Once we load it, I'm going to shut it off. Okay. Okay. So right now we're going to pump it up a little bit. Uh, make sure I get that on. Uh, I'll switch up here. Okay. Where's the other one at? Just pull around this way. Okay. All right. It's not really. <laughs> this thing works good. Good enough. That worked. If you can't tell by now, we're doing some landscaping. Stay tuned. Shoo! Well, we made it back to the house, ladies and gentlemen. Like I said, it's landscaping day. It, it, I am in a winter coat. It's uh, it's about 34 degrees, and the wind is blowing. I know you guys are thinking, well, Flair, why are you doing landscaping when it's so cold? The grass isn't going to grow. Listen, you got to get stuff done when you can get stuff done. You don't really always have choices. We've got rain coming in two days. I want to get this done. We've got some other projects that we need to get done before the rain. But we rented these guys. This is a pull behind the aerator, which should save a ton of time. Put on the old four wheeler. Millie is here to help. And then we've got the, the walk behind. These were surprisingly, they're the same price. I feel like that was, I don't know, maybe I, I guess that one has an engine, that one done. For some reason, that one would be more, maybe since it doesn't have an engine, it's not more. But it's about 75 bucks for the two, plus or minus some other BS. About 200 bucks for the day, whole day. I mean, it's not gonna take us all day, but I was like, just give it to me for the day. You know, that way we can get everything done that we need to get done. It is blowing like, 50, 60 miles an hour, no, not quite, probably 30 or 40 miles an hour. So not ideal to condition for anything. You know, our, our goal is to revamp the lawn here. Um, the front yard's not awful, okay? We've got some trouble spots down there here. The backyard, you'll see later, is atrocious. I mean, this is atrocious too, right here. This is, this is not good for anybody right here. I don't know if we're gonna be able to fix much of that today, but the plan is mow, like mow and bag, so we've got the push mower, old school, all right? Not not the old rider. Mow it down, nice and short. We bought a dethatcher, so we're trying to dethatch. Go back and mow again uh, and pick up, and if there is any loose thatch, the dethatcher we have does have a, a bag on it, so maybe it'll get all in one. I don't really know, I've never dethatched before. I've personally never ran an aerator before, and that's why my lawn looks like this, uh, because you know I didn't run an aerator. And, uh, and so there's a ton of trailers that run down my driveway. That's what Jake's gonna be working on while I'm mowing, since you can only do pretty much one thing at once. Everything needs to be mowed, and we're doing it, we only have one push mower. So it, it can only be done one time, one person at a time. So while I'm doing that, he's gonna move all the trailers, all the boats, all the attachments. He's gonna try to get everything put on the gravel and the yard that runs all the way down my driveway, we're gonna try to aerate as well. So like I said, you'll see the backyard. The backyard's pretty rough. We have a huge mole and vole problem, which is pretty much why the yard looks like crap. I mean, there's multiple reasons, but for the most part, it's those things. Those things will kill it, and it's like, now it's all like soft and squishy, like it's not 
Like, yeah, there's just, there's, yeah. So I know most people, you would kill your moles and voles first, and then you would apply, we've got grub killer. Uh, we gotta apply, so we, today we're gonna try to put down grub killer. We're gonna try to put down seed. We're gonna try to put on fertilizer. We're trying to do it all. I know it's like, ideally you're supposed to do kind of one at a time. We just don't have that kind of time. Uh, I actually, I tried hiring a company just to do this. I was like, I don't, I ain't got time for this. Uh, and then we started this construction channel and it was also impossible to find anybody come out to the country and do this. And I, I thought knew that, or they, they, I thought that they knew what they were doing. A lot of the guys that came out were like, oh yeah, you just add some nitrogen. I'm like, no shit, what else? That nitrogen ain't gonna make that look any better. And so I was like, you know what, we're just gonna do it ourselves. So went on YouTube, started watching some videos. What do I need to revamp my lawn? Seems like you need to mow it, dethatch it, aerate it, overseed it, fertilize it. Since I have a mole and vole problem, I gotta kill the grubs. Uh, and if we still have a problem after that, then I'm gonna try to, I bought some traps to kill the moles and voles. You find their tunnels, you put in bait. You, I've got like little scissor traps that will trap them like mice. We just, we hadn't got around to trapping them, but I know you're supposed to kill the grubs or trap the moles, kill the grubs, and then try to fix your lawn. I'm kind of, I'm skipping a step. I know you guys are, you guys are big critics on this channel. It's like on the Flare channel, you're like, oh, it's Flare, he's an idiot, it's all fine. Hey Marsh, hey, how's it going, buddy? But on the, if I, Beefcake Construction, heaven forbid we don't put a freaking liner down under the French drain, okay? You guys absolutely roasted me for that. Listen, guy, I knew that we should put a liner down there. I was like, I don't think we need it. We got screened rock, we put it at the bottom. Maybe in 20 years, sure. It's not gonna be my problem in 20 years. It, I could have first. I could have left it how it was and have the new owner of this property deal with the drainage. I at least temporarily fixed it. I'm guessing for the next at least five years. So, anyways, you guys are. I'm just. I'm. I'm giving you guys a hard time because you give me a hard time. So you can keep criticizing me because I actually I, I appreciate the criticism because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Clearly, it's why we're ocean approved, not OSHA. Okay. So anyways, that's pretty much the gist right now. I'm gonna go ahead and get the mower started. I gotta get the bag on it. I'm gonna take care of the front yard. We're gonna get it mowed, then we're gonna dethatch, mowed, aerated, overseeded, and we gotta put grub killer on it, and fertilizer, and crabgrass killer. It's gonna be a big day. You guys stay tuned. Alrighty, folks, here we go. Start off with the old mow. Attach my bag. She's ready. Lucy? What are you thinking, buddy? All right, so start mowing. I got one, two. I'll show you the side yard real quick. It's this is what really needs work too. There's no water. I don't have a sprinkler system, but yeah, look at that. So we got a lot of a lot of work to do. I'm just gonna try to get as much done today as I can. Like I said, that the weather's not optimal. It's not great for spreading seed or fertilizer or anything. It's kind of windy. Um, we're gonna do our best to get everything done. Put a little water on it. Hope for some warm and sunshine and maybe a little bit of rain coming up here a couple days and we should be should be good to go
half done. Uh, not too long. I don't know how long that took, but not too bad. Other side should be done. I'm not sure how short to mow it. I'm gonna ask Jake. He knows a little bit more about this stuff than I do. I mean, I don't wanna go too crazy. I know some people go like real short to kind of do a lawn restart. I don't think this yard's that bad. Um, so I'll mow it once. Maybe I'll start dethatching. If it starts ripping up too much grass and I can always make it a little bit shorter. So, all right, let's do the other side. actually 10 minutes whole thing both sides not bad so I'm gonna go I'm gonna try one yard at a time just so I don't you know I don't want to mow everything and then it'd be the wrong length good tester in the front so now that it's mowed I'm gonna go grab my dethatcher for some reason they're electric uh, but we got I got a battery powered one not a plug-in corded one I don't want to deal with the cord so we got an electric one so I want to use that because then once I'm done with this yard I'm gonna have to put the battery back on the charge I only got one charge or one battery so uh, like I said, I kind of want to do one step at a time. You don't want to always, if you've never done something once, you don't want to go all in on the first thing, especially with multiple steps. So, you know, step one's mow, step two is dethatch. So I'm going to try dethatching this, see how it goes. If it goes well, then, you know, I'll aerate it and basically then repeat it for the backyard. And uh, we'll see how, see what happens, I guess. I've never done this before. So if you guys have any tips, you let me know. Stay tuned. All right, let's see here. Pretty big battery. Why do we have so many dots? Marshall. Why are you here? No, I'm just kidding. Marshall's my wow. Marshall's my buddy. All right, let's see. Here's the old D thatch. Drop that down. So I think this is. I don't know how this stuff works. I think. That... Hey, be quiet. I'm trying to vlog here. I think that's the D thatcher. I think what's on it is a. What do you call it? Like a. Uh, some of the S scraper, scarfer, something like that. So, how do you take this? I didn't put this one together. Pop BK put it together. He's out of town. He got everything ready. There's, it's our station right here. We've got spreaders. I don't know what's in that. Probably something to kill stuff. We got grub X. We've got weed stop, fescue. Nah, we got a bunch of So, I gotta figure out how this button looks like it does something. I don't really know what. I don't think I want this thing though, do I? I don't know. I'm pretty. I'm like 95% sure that's a dethatcher. That that looks like it rips up thatch. This thing looks like it just maybe, almost like an aerator, but not quite. What is this? Oh, hang on. Oh, hang on. I think we got it. Mm -hmm. Maybe. No. Mm -hmm. Hey, leave Marsh alone. Hey, be nice to him. What did he ever do to you? What did he ever do to you? Okay. All right. I think I see how this thing works. I just don't know how to do it. Oh, there we go. Okay. Now does this... Okay. All right. So that... I think this goes like this. I did not pay any attention how the hell this thing works. I think it maybe just sits in there. Yeah. And 
Oh, there we go. Hey! Papa's got it. Okay. Alright, I think we're dethatching or something now. So we can't have nice things. Hold on. So I don't even know if I need to go back and mow since this thing does have a bag. How did I just break that? Where, where was this at? I couldn't even see it. We can't have nice things. Always break stuff. Oh. This thing is here. This thing's kind of cool. I don't know why they're all electric. Like, I couldn't find a gas one. I mean, I'm sure there's a reason. But I was like, I'm not doing corded. I'll run over the cord. Okay, I think that goes... Ah, okay. So how does this sucker work? You just hit the go button, or...? Oh, there's measurements? Oh, God. What I... Uh, this, yeah, I'm not... I got no idea what's going on here. Um, how do you turn it on? What's this button? Is that doing anything? God, yeah. We're in business now, baby. All right, I don't know about depth, though. I got plus a quarter inch, zero, minus quarter inch, minus three eighths, minus five eighths. I don't really know what that means. I'm guessing maybe how deep it goes, but how am I supposed to know how deep to go? I've never done this before. Hey, dogs, how about we don't climb on the steps? Okay. So fat. Oh, we also got this the spreader. Um, I guess I just realized we didn't buy. <laughs> We didn't buy any topsoil, but I have that. I guess in case we need it. What the heck, I, I dropped the ball on that. Yeah, but that thing, so you put like peat moss, you can put topsoil and uh, run it around your yard, kind of fill in the holes a little bit. All right, I just bought a bunch of stuff for nothing, I guess. I forgot to grab bags of topsoil this morning. That might be phase two. So if what I'm doing today doesn't work, then I might get to spread. Jake's still moving trailers. He's using the skid loader. I bought a little hitch attachment that goes in the bucket. So far, he's moved three of them, so not, not too bad. All right. All right, you little dethatcher. So I'm guessing you keep it at quarter so it doesn't drag on the ground. What if I just, I think a good middle spot is maybe quarter, negative quarter inch. Let's we'll see what this thing has to say. Oh, oh, we're doing something. I don't know what, but we're doing something. Okay. All right. I don't know what we're doing, but we're doing it. I, got, I couldn't tell you what's going on right now. We're thatching something. Some nice rocks. Oh god, I'm already I'm already just butchering this thing. Oh god. The old 40 volt can't handle it. Boy. The old 40 volt already toasted or what? Look at all that thatch. I mean, I think it's doing what we're supposed to be doing. I mean, it's not even like the sack's full. I don't know if I just did what I'm supposed to do. I'm, I'm confused, I'll be honest. That's probably why they're corded and not battery powered. I have no idea if I'm destroying my lawn right now or not. Going backwards, bad. Should I try zero? This is a little bit more challenging than I thought it would be.
You don't mind just need to empty the bag. Oh god, yeah. Okay, that was that, that's wow. All right. Getting that grassy old fade cut. Sheesh. I, don't, I mean, maybe that's good. Is this good? I don't, is, I don't know if this is good or not. <laughs> oh, and this is gonna be here a long time. I made not even a lap on one side. I don't know if this is good or not, but it's gonna keep going. At this point, I don't think it can make my lawn any worse. So. Might take a couple passes. I don't know. I, every, I watch YouTube videos. Everybody just goes. They don't. They don't. They don't you know, there's not much to it. They just do it. Not much to it. They just do it. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do it. If it ruins my lawn, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Okay, that's better. I think it was just full. We think it'd be easier to take. The, oh my good lord! I think it'd be easier to take the bag off and then use the mower to sweep off. Like, like come back. I'm gonna go back with the mower anyway, probably. Dude, look. I mean, I guess I, I'm either completely ruining my lawn or this is about to look like a putting green. I I don't know what the outcome's gonna be. You guys might be able to tell me, but maybe I. I don't know, maybe my grass was just thatchy. I mean, it's. I feel like, isn't that? Oh, is it supposed to be green? Maybe I need to mow my grass shorter. I feel like it's not supposed to rip up the green grass, right? That's the good stuff. Am I just ruining my yard? I mean, that's a lot of green grass in there. Now you get it out, Lucy. Maybe I'm supposed to mow shorter. So it can't grab it? Oh, this is, yeah. Yeah, I, now that I'm thinking about it, I, I feel like it's not supposed to be ripping up that green grass, you know? I mean, it's pulling out a lot of the dead stuff. Let me try, I'm gonna try it without the bag. Let's see what happens. I think this might make more sense. Cause so I can go faster, maybe rip up less green grass, and then just come back, mow it up. Yeah, you go a lot faster this way. That's for darn sure. Oh yeah, see, I think we're getting it. It's pulling a lot of that brown grass up top. I think this makes sense. Oh yeah. See, I think the bag the bag was the deal. That was that's not that's not what you want. That bag was slowing me down. Stick. I like that stick. Now I can see where, right where I went too.
she's thatched. She's dethatched. I'm gonna go ahead and mow it. That way I can make sure that this stuff gets picked up. Because if it doesn't, then I probably need to go back to using the bag and just go slow. So I just wanna make sure my mower is capable of doing it. I'm actually gonna drop, drop it down one notch. About like that. Ooh. About like that. Should be good. mode so I'm gonna put the dethatcher back up I'm gonna do plus a quarter so it's should, should be above the ground and uh, maybe rake a little bit of this thatch up and then this side of the yard should be good if you had a big yard man this would suck Both yards, oh, I should have taken a flow nase this morning. Both yards are mowed, dethatched, and mowed again. I don't know. I mean, they don't look worse, Lucy, do they? Actually, they do. They look a lot more brown. But what I did on that second one, and I kind of changed it, since these are side by side, look at the same amount of water, same amount of sun. I put the dethatcher on plus a quarter on the other one. The other one, I went minus a quarter. So I went real deep. Real deep on this one, real shallow on this one. So we'll see, maybe there's, I mean, it's all part of learning, right? Like that's the only way you get good at really anything. You just gotta get out there and do it. And I watched some YouTube videos, ish, kind of figured out what to do. But I think, I think as far as the dethatch goes, the mow goes, they look clean, crisp. I think, I mean, we, I unloaded, I bet I unloaded at least 10 mower bags and four or five dethatcher bags full of well, partially green grass, but then also not green grass, some, some brown grass, some thatch. So I think it worked. I mean, I don't, like I said, it's, it's tough for me to say, but the, the fact that I did one real deep and one real shallow, I think that should help as far as knowing what, you know, every yard's different. So some of you guys watching might be like, Flea, all you gotta do is this. It's like, well, you don't, you don't live here where the, I mean, my soil sucks out here too. It's like the least fertile soil you ever freaking, you ever darn dead see. It's pretty tough to grow stuff out here at least grass i mean farmers obviously do a good job but they put a ton of chemical down i mean that's what it pretty much just takes and i neglected it last year so this is my year to get it looking decent so i think we're ready to aerate uh jake got all the trailers moved he got all the trailers moved off there so that's ready to go um he's got the atv running with it that aerator i've got the push aerator that i think i'm going to use for these uh 
these front two patches. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the aerator unloaded and get to aerate. Stay tuned. All right, here we go. Jake's got the old spreader 3000. He's got grub killer, like basically weed and feed, which is weed prevention and fertilizer and seed tops over seed. Yep. I'm getting it. How you doing, Billy Goat? This is the old Billy Goat aerator. Um, all right, big Bill, let's keep going down here. I don't know if I need to fill it full of water. Fill this tank with water only, 50 pounds full. I mean, maybe I do, I don't know. Dear God. All right, Papa's back. Come on, baby. Give it to me. Oh, what the hell? This thing's trash. Or oh, I'm trash. One of the two. Bro. What is this thing doing? Dear God. Shit. This thing's literal garbage. Oh, wow. You don't like it when you turn it. Not on level ground, well. I can't even do it. It needs it down there, but if it's on a level ground, it, it dies. You get over here, it just die. No, it'll, like down every time it fight, tilts it on its side, it'll just die. Oh, on gas? <laughs> no, I think it's got a sa it's a safety thing. Oh, uh, so if it rolls, it's not. Good. Yeah. I think we'd be better off with a couple of DeWalt's just drill holes in there. I mean, it needs it over there, but you should see how brown it was before I dethatched it. The whole thing was brown. Oh, yeah. It actually looks decent now. I think this is garbage. This thing will be the death of me. Oh, that's good for it. Nice. Hell yeah. Take your ass in there, baby. How am I supposed to 
say right the hell if it don't, bruh. This thing literally makes no sense. My ass kicked. This thing's awful, dude. Really? It doesn't. It's not even doing it. No, no, I just. Oh, yeah. What happened? Did it run off? The oh yeah, she she took off. Yeah. She did with her own thing. No wonder this thing is so cheap to rent. It's a piece of junk. This thing sucks. All right. I've never wanted to reinvent something so bad in my life. Whoever figured out the design on that. Needs to be fired immediately. Worst design I've ever seen. Maybe this one's a junk one and there's some nicer ones, but oh, sucker pretty much blew my back out. <laughs> that sucked. Did you get the whole thing done? I mean, as good as you're getting, yeah. Better than it was. So, what are you on now? Seed? Yeah, I just went through and did all of them. I thought I'd wait for you to have. This is Grub X. We can do this half now. Yeah. All right, grub killer going down. Oh, God. It also doesn't help. It's blowing 90. I'm sure as you guys can hear it. Put the grub killer down. This thing set at three or three and a half? Three and a half. Oh, okay. Oh shit, is it just pulling? Oh, they're all orange. Oh, mango dipping dot action right there. Right. Right, good, good, good clump. Shout out Scott. That's how it's supposed to be, I guess. Okay. Shout out Scott. <laughs> Shout out my boy Scott. Given that crappy ass. <laughs> All right, Jake just done some crabgrass, killer prevent. I think it's preventer actually, not killer. Preventive, preventative. Ah, I'm just gonna keep walking. I I pushed this thing for 12 hours before I jump on that thing for 20. Not 20 hours, 20 minutes. That thing sucked. First yard, front yard is completely done. We got it in dethat mowed, dethatched, mowed, aerated, crabgrass killer with fertilizer, seeded, and grub killer. All at one time yep. in 45 mile an hour wind. So that, no, no promises here. But we're gonna go ahead and throw some water on it. Hopefully the wind doesn't blow it around too bad. And we're gonna take everything to the back. I mean, now that you saw our system, same thing we did here in the backyard. Stay tuned. Shoo! All right, made it to the backyard. This is where, well, it gets a little more rough. Big mole and vole problem here and under the uh, the steps. So I mean, this thing's like all squishy and it's not good. Um, under here is looking real bad too. Lucy's also dug some holes, which doesn't doesn't help. She's been trying to kill the moles and voles. It's uh, looking looking rough. The whole thing under here's looking pretty darn rough. So, anyways, we're gonna give it the same treatment. Ideally, you probably need to come in here and clean or kill the moles, voles first, then the grubs come in and spread topsoil, level it out, pack it in. We ain't got time for that. We're just going to throw everything we've got at it. If it don't work, 
we'll call in reinforcements later but i think this will make it can make it worse so if i can just get it a little better yeah i can have somebody come in and polish it up so anyways mow dethatch mow aerate fertilize crabgrass grub killer overseed stay tuned
think Eric's done. I mean, I have me hurting in the morning. Yeah. Oh, sore. I'm going to be sore. I ain't used to this kind of. Just just a lot of pushing, the walking. I mean, not that we don't walk, obviously, but we got everything down. We got all the crab grass, fertilizer, uh, seed, grub killer. Dethatched it twice, mowed it twice. We even weed whacked a little bit, aerated it. If this don't grow grass, I don't know what will. I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll see what comes up. We got the sprinkler ready. But I think we're finally about done with the, the walking. Time to get on the old four-wheeler. Stay tuned. Do I need to come park on the other side? Yeah. We need to get it in the grass. I say it first. needs to be in the grass. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, I probably should do that. Roll it over there. So when this sucker's, you gotta be ready for this thing, huh? Yeah. Oh, I see. Where you're yeah, I'll run the road. That's the only way it's gonna work. Yeah. Honestly. Why do they make the hitch receiver on this thing suck? I don't know. Alright, I guess I'll go try. Alright, well the uh, hitch doesn't work on the ATV, so we're gonna try to put a hole in it. Never done this before. We got nowhere. <laughs> is that the cobalt? Yeah, that is the cobalt. Got any better ideas? No. <laughs> we need a drill press. Or just don't use the ATV. I think that the hitch on the the hitch receiver on the ATV is. I mean, yeah, we mm. could use the side by side to do this. I mean, we aren't getting far quick. Can I cut it off? Yeah. Yeah, you just cut that. Grinder and just cut off like an inch of it. Just give it a little slice. I think this will do it. Uh, let's see. Anything over here that'll catch on fire? No. <laughs> just this giant propane tank. Nah, that'll be alright. <laughs> Sucker smoking good. I don't think a sucker's made to cut. Okay. Yeah, let's try the old saws. Now that I got the old, the old metal blade on the sawzall. Yeah, the sawzall might be better. We got blades up here. Metal. Yeah, let's try that guy. Try that one. He's been through hell. Yeah, they're all used. He's about to go back. We are losing everything yeah, on the table. table's just going nuts. It's working. I just... <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> ATV has to say about that. Why the hell am I swearing goggles? <laughs> Take these suckers off. Whew. I definitely got high off those fumes, you? Really? God, yeah. Look at 
look at us. We're doing big things for our country out here. Look at that. Let's go. All right, so this hitch is only good for the ATV. I'm sure it's not DOT approved now. Okay. You ready? We're good. Pull closer, Mark. Here for the old air eight. All right, boys. Daddy's about to plug some holes. Oh, God, yeah. This thing goes hard. I love this thing. Look at that bad boy. This thing's a beast. This is the best invention of all time. I don't really know about turning, but we'll figure that out. turn with this sucker. Okay, I mean, not ideal, but all right. Better than nothing.
yeah, that thing worked actually pretty good. We got all the entire side yard, all the way up the driveway and the other side, completely aerated. Jake's gonna jump on. Uh, I, really, the most important thing to me right now is getting some weed prevention on. Those dandelions, when they come in, they come in thick out here. So get those on. If we have some time today, we'll spread some seed as well. I guess we need grub. Hey, the rest of that grub mix, I would just put by over here. Yeah. Because that's, they're, they're getting it. Yeah, they're down by, there. By the, by, by the pole here. I'd, so maybe spread the rest of the grub X here. Let me put this down. Put all of that down as much as you can go there. We do have an ATV spreader. Oh, I got an idea. Uh-oh. Can you hook up the pole behind one on the riding lawnmower? Uh, it just depends if your lawnmower has a little. <laughs> we should look. I'm trying to save you from walking. I'm like, I'm over here like, man, I feel bad because I have the ATV. I mean, you can technically run the Mike Wazowski with that sucker. Oh, I, I mean, you get the old fertilizer going with the Wazowski. Need a hitch. Does it have? What? It's got. Some, I was just gonna the the Wazowski it deal. Has a, like, clevis, doesn't it? Oh. Yeah, it's just got a clevis. Hanging yeah, but on. for a pin drop. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, because that's what it is. Should you fertilize with Wazowski? <laughs> no. That's hey, no, that's like tilling. You, you don't just run the tracks. Yeah, the one that's up there, because I, so the reason we weren't using ATV in one, I'm using ATV two, it sits really high, because it's a hitch, wow, where are you guys going? It's a hitch receiver, and there's so much wind, but that thing isn't, you'd be all right if you just go nice and slow, it would be all right. Yeah, this thing doesn't have a, it doesn't have it? It doesn't have anything on it. Really? We could weld one up real quick. Really? <laughs> I say you just take Wazowski. Take Wazowski. Take Big Daddy Wazowski, Take yeah. the, the mini Jeep would be. I mean, I would say that's better than walking. Yeah. I mean, it holds 30... 30 pounds or something like that. We also have the Big Daddy, but I heard you didn't like the Big Daddy. Does that no, thing suck? The push one? Yeah, is it just yeah, sucks? You put 100 pounds in there it's and just you heavy. can't move it. Yeah, I'm, I did that last year, yeah. I don't know what the point of that thing is. Oh, God, yeah. This old guy. I didn't buy all this stuff not to freaking use it, you know. We got every type of spreader you want. You want one of these bad boys. You want a battery-powered one. You want a giant walk one, small walk one, medium walk one, or a couple hand spreaders. Your boy's got everything, so... I, that, that keeps it low. I mean, that's the same distance to the ground as your other one. You know, that's, don't, that's the only reason why I don't want to use the hitch one. Yeah, it'll cool just yeet. It'll just yeet it and it just waste your money. So, you figure out a little mini ATV, you think? Or does it, does it have a hitch? Drag that sucker out. We're going to make we're gonna make it work, folks. That Because we need both to be working. That would get it done faster. I'm just going to run and aerate the backyard and all the big, like the big side yards that need it. Then we can spread on this. Let's see. Mini ATV. I mean, technically, the old the old tank could do it. Let's see, old ATV have to say. Definitely, it's definitely no hitch on the ATV. No, rip. Looks like Wazowski. Is. You think Wazowski? You're just going straight lines. You ain't gonna tear nothing up. Dude, it's literally thing. built for it. I know. I was thinking something with the open cap that so I can reach back and turn it off. So it doesn't uh, just keep spreading. Because like when I have to turn on the gravel, it's just gonna be spreading our stuff. Well, you could just stop and hop out, I guess. What, I mean, what, is there any, what, how many other things do we have? A dirt bike? No. Uh, I mean, we, we have to have something that has a hole in it, and we only have one hitch that I'm using. I think Wazowski's your deal. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what else. I mean, you could tie it up. It's not like this suck. You're not towing a skid loader. Like, I say get the old mini Jeep. Guy. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, can we just put a strap on it or something and just tie it? Was it get some zip ties? <laughs> just zip I mean, it's not like you're pulling a lot of weight. Big Daddy Marsh, what are you thinking, buddy? Hey, bud. You having a good time? He's just he's having a good cold time. Out here. Yeah, you want to go in the shop? It's kind of cold out he's here, buddy. Right. You be all right? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Maybe zip tie like just around the pin. Yeah. And then just zip tie that zip tie to there. Yeah. I'm just trying to. Yeah, I mean, I got some heavy. Dude, I got some heavy zip ties. I mean, we could use. We could just wire it too. We got any of that heavy gauge wire laying around? Those heavy zip ties will do it. I want to see you rip the old mini jeep. You better go start that. You can go, make sure it oh, starts. Yeah, that's true. May <laughs> we're trying to waste too much time here because it, it's been cool and they hadn't been started. Ooh. All right, what do we got here? These Mac Daddy zip ties. Them will do it. They got a rating on it here. 180 pounds. Sheet. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. I don't know if they're going to start, though. It's been freaking cold. There's no other. I'm trying to think of there's Is there any other besides a dirt bike? No. I don't need any more toys in here. Oh, he got it. Barely. Barely. Oh, God, yeah. All right, let's get her hooked up.
old mini jeep. She ain't going nowhere, son. That's the old fertilizer 3000, baby. We're gonna see what happens. The old, the old spare's in the way of the turn, but as long as these tires, that's the biggest thing is you just gotta be used to watch them tires yeah. to make sure they've got ground contact. But yeah, other than that, give her hell, let's see it. <laughs> Look at that bad boy. Sheesh. The old farmhand special right there. That's the old daily driver. Oh god, yeah! You going? Oh yeah! Let's go! Dude, this is, a, oh, this is great! How's it turning? You're doing fine. Dude, you're fine. I mean, just don't turn sharp. That's as sharp as I can turn, so. Yeah. No, you, he's got it. Well, let's load him up. Get him on his way to fertilizing or whatnot. Load me up! <laughs> this That's is awesome. great! I can just reach back. Yeah. Seed, no seed. No, this is the deal here. So what, what you want, crabgrass preventer? Is that what you're thinking first? Yeah. Oh, God, yeah. Oh, you're going to be killing it now. I love these mini Jeeps. The old mini Jeep finally came in clutch. We needed a vehicle that had a little, well, it didn't even have a pin. We just put the old strap on it, but it, it does not trick. Wheel her on up, Junior. Weight should help keep the tires tight, yeah, too. Yeah, for sure, yeah. That's it. Be, I, I gotta watch this, and then I'll then I'll get back to you know aerating or whatever. But this is to me this is great. We gotta leave her hooked up like that. That's the old daily. Yeah, if the old lawn needs fertilizer, take the old mini jeep. No ATV needed here, buddy. Get the old tow mirrors out. Make sure you can see. There you go, folks. The old mini Jeep's getting it. Get the old spread going. Beats walking. So, all right, well, I'm gonna jump on this bad boy and go ahead and aerate the rest of the yard. And he's gonna be behind, he's gotta, he has to take that and come to the other side too. So I'm gonna go aerate and he'll be right behind me. Old Junior's still out there spreading. He's getting the seed down. But that's pretty much it, folks. I don't know if you guys like this kind of stuff. Like I said, the, the idea of this channel is to show you what goes on behind the scenes, uh, work stuff. Like, you know, this is the type of stuff that usually Jake, I mean, Jake's now doing a lot of filming. We're looking at hiring another um, farmhand to take Jake's place since Jake's, he, Jake does everything. Little farmhand, little camera guy, little edit. He does, he's a jack of all trades. But uh, videos are priority, you know, not, not making sure my grass is mowed. So he's gonna shift a little bit more to the content creation team and we need somebody to help Papa Beefcake. Basically, Papa Beefcake needs an assistant to help him. I mean, you saw, we put in four or five hours worth of work and two guys with power, electric, everything you could possibly have. I mean, we, we did a lot of work. We, I told Jake, I said, Jake, Pop BK's out of town, so this would be kind of a good surprise for him. He doesn't have to stress about it. You know, I kind of told him, I said, hey, we need to get the lawn looking good. Either you need to find a company, you need to do it yourself. You just let me know what you need. And, you know, he just didn't quite, he wasn't quite sure what he wanted to do with it. So, you know, he's out of town right now, so he's going to come back. I think it'll be a good surprise for him. He won't have to, uh, he won't, I mean, he's still gonna have to do stuff. Don't get me wrong. It's not like he can't do it, but you know, he's not gonna have to go rent an aerator. He's not, I mean, it, it, for him by himself, I mean, that would take forever. I mean, it would take any one person forever to do what we did today. Um, so Jake and I kind of got the, you know, grunt work out of the way. I mean, there's still stuff. There's still some bushes that need to be replaced. You know, there's some little landscaping touch-ups, you know, we're trying to sell this place coming up here soon. So, you know, we want everything to look good, right? We want the landscaping to look good. Um, you know, we might redo some landscaping around the trees, some new mulch, 
so that's some stuff I don't know if I'll be doing. Maybe a new farmhand will be doing. Um, Pop Beef could be doing, or we could hire somebody. I mean, I'm not I'm not against hiring somebody. It's like I don't know. I don't mind it. Like my back is definitely gonna be pit, like pissed off tomorrow morning when I wake up, and my legs are too from what I should. I think it's kind of fun. I, I I enjoy lawn work if I have the time, right? So especially now that I can film videos like this for you guys to enjoy, then it gives me an excuse to go do it rather than like, oh, I just need to focus on making YouTube videos all the time. I'm not going to be mowing the yard. I need to go get somebody. Well, if you guys want to see me do stuff, then I'll do it myself. I don't mind. I, I, I'm a big DIY guy. But again, I, my focus, my primary focus is YouTube. So, you know, now that I can do YouTube videos about this kind of stuff, I plan to do a lot of it myself. So anyways, we got pretty, what do you think? That works surprisingly Is it, well. is it all right? Yeah. Fine. So the seating's good. Yeah. So you're just gonna keep adding some. Yeah, I'm gonna keep going. Okay. All get right. Everything. We're get everything done. So everything got grub X, everything got weed and feed, which is uh, fertilizer and you know dandelion killer, crabgrass killer, and we overseeded and we deep thatched and we aerated and we mowed and we bagged. <sighs> Comment down below. What did we miss? What did we miss? I'm sure you guys are all gonna be lawn experts. It's just like I was tripping you guys earlier. It's just some, it, it amazes me. You know, you make one mini excavator video, and all of a sudden. Half of my viewers somehow are all 20 year old vets. They've been doing mini excavation for 20 years old. Surprise, somehow that happened. I'm just, I'm giving you guys a hard time. But let us know what we did wrong. Let us know what we did right. Let us know what we need to do next time to make our lawn look like a putting green. That's the plan. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode of Beefcake Construction LLC. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.